I was uh, actually doubting myself a lot at the time because you know how com complicated the character is. And I heard a relative say <laughs> that um, that everybody cried when you were born because you, you I was second child and you were a girl so people did cry. Nobody was happy. I became so insecure that okay, I'm a girl child. Now this new person has come in and he's a boy. Imagine at that age, I was hardly three. I have accused her of loving my brother more than me. But that's not true, that wasn't true. There was nothing good that was coming my way. So that, those two years were a little difficult. Hi Tripti, welcome to The Quint. Hi, thank you for having me here. Firstly, big congratulations. Is your phone just ringing non-stop? It has been ringing and I'm so glad that it is. Yeah. <laughs> when you said yes to Kala, did you think that it would really get so much love that it's getting? Not really and I was uh, actually doubting myself a lot at the time because you know how com complicated the character is. And uh, there were days where I was, yes, nervous for certain scenes. And the best part about Anvita's workshops is that she, she doesn't let you get into the scenes. She's like, we're not going to sit here and I'm, I'm not going to be like, Chalo, let take lines for me. No, that's not something we're going to do. We're going to talk about this person. Who is she? Where does she come from? Um, you know, what's her thought process like? What do you think her relationship is like with her mother? And she asked me things like, what's your first memory as Sripti? And I spoke about something when I was five years old. Um, they used to like sideline me a lot in class, first class. And I, I, I remember it so well, even today. I remember their names also, even today. So she was like, this is very interesting. Now let's talk about um, Kala's first memory. <laughs> so then we started off like that. The mother-daughter relationship is the spine of the film. As children, you know, our experiences is what molds us when we're adults, right? Uh, what is your takeaway from this film when you talk about a mother-daughter relationship? You know, thinking about my relationship with my mom and Luckily, it's, it has been good. I've, she's given me a lot of love growing up. She was all there for all three of us. But there was a point where I was jealous of my brother. He's going to kill me if he watches this interview. But there was a point. Um, I remember uh, when he was born, I created a scene in the hospital. Because I became so insecure that, okay, I'm a girl child. Now this new person has come in and he's a boy. Imagine at that age, I was hardly three. And I heard a relative say <laughs> that, um, that everybody cried when you were born because you, you I was second child, then you were a girl. So people did cry. Nobody was happy. It has created a lot of insecurity in me, right? As a human being. It's one reason why I used to really hate my brother when I was a kid. <laughs> and like, I would not talk to him. Anything that would happen, I would be like, no, you, you like him more and you don't like me. And those are the kind of conversations that I would have with my mom. And now, and when I was working on Kala, I was just thinking about those days. And I was like, why was I blaming my mother for her? She just loved me with all her heart. She never, she never said anything that, okay, he's a boy, so I have to give more attention to him. She was, you know, equally there for me as well. But as a kid, I could not understand it. I mean, I was very upset. Uh, I still am with a lot of them for telling me what they told me. I didn't ask myself the right questions then. I was just uh, going with the flow. There was so young. So young, right exactly. Questions. And these things were disturbing me. But I wasn't thinking about them. I wasn't thinking about why this is disturbing me or what is it that I need to, you know, let go. You have to let go of these things. You can't let them affect you for life. But that doesn't happen, right, a lot of the time. So I think that kind of happened with this film because I did get a lot of time to think about my own relationship with my mother and the things that I have uh, done, the things that I have said to her. I was able to forgive myself for that. I was able to forgive my, not my, rel uh, <laughs> that relative, but <laughs> my mother for that. Because I have, you know, as a child, blamed her for a lot of things. I have accused her of loving my brother more than me. But that's not true. That wasn't true. We are going to talk a lot more about Kala. Uh, but I would love to take you back to when you started off. You know, uh, do you remember your days when you were auditioning mm -hmm. to bagging your first film? What were those, those days like? And, you know, what are the kind of challenges that you faced back then? I moved to Bombay in, I think, 2017. 
and uh, my daily routine was like I would wake up, uh, go for auditions. Every day I would go for five to seven auditions. That was life then for at least one year. I've always been very shy as a person. Like I could not even talk to my relatives when they would come home. I would just hide from them. Ki I, I can't interact. I used to get anxious. When I told my parents that I want to be an actor, they were like, what? I was also freaking out, like honestly, because I remember for when I would go for my auditions initially, I would not, uh, my thing was that let me just finish my lines and just get away. Even after Leila Vajnu, I thought life would change yeah. because theatrical, big film, Ali, everything was good. But then it didn't work out. And then after that again, there was two years I didn't do anything. And because, you know, it's like when you're a newcomer, you will do anything that comes your way, right? But when, once you've done something and something like Leila Majnu, you can't go down. You have to, you know, think of doing something better. Yeah. There were a lot of people around me, friends, who were giving me different, different suggestions. Don't get into OTT space right now. Um, because OTT was also new. Yes. Bulbul yes. was one of the first eight films that Netflix was releasing at the time. And uh, honestly, there was nothing good that was coming my way. So that, those two years were a little difficult. I mean, when you have nothing to do, and because I come from a middle class family, it's not like I had financial support also. Also, you know, um, Truti, you're not from the city, you know, you've come from Delhi, like you said. Um, living far away from your family, uh, trying your hand at something that you didn't know much about, mm -hmm. you didn't have a backing of <clears throat> anybody in the city when you came in here. What were those days like for you? Always wanted to live alone. So initially I was very happy with the freedom. I was meeting new people, making new friends. I was fortunately getting a lot of TVCs. So work was happening. Then there came a point where I was like, I miss home, I miss my family. And for a year at least, there was no, like, uh, there was no place I could call home. I was just shifting houses. That, that first year was a bit challenging. I remember one day when I was going to audition for something, there was some relative that had said something and it did, it did disturb me. And then that's, that's when I said, I'm going to not leave the city just like that. <laughs> if I'm here, I'm going to do yeah. something big and I'll do it for myself. And today I think I'm, I am where I wanted to be at that point. One quick last question. What are the other kind of genres in the industry that you want to explore with films? I think right now I want to explore everything because I still feel that it's just, it's the beginning of my career. And the moment you get comfortable doing something, then, then there's no growth. There will come a point where people will be like, Ye yehi karti hai. So I want to uh, make sure that I don't get there. I want to do, I've just done a comedy film. So mm, that is interesting. Um, there are a couple of other things that I'm going to be doing the next year and they're all different. So we're going to see a lot of 100%, 100%. Super. Congratulations again for Kala. And Thank you so much.